All right, so now that we're uh, finished our first section of chapter eight here for perpetual FIFO, we're going to be continuing on learning the second costing method, which is LIFO, okay? Which is last in, first out. So again, formulas are identical to FIFO, okay? Only difference is when we calculate our cost of goods sold, this is where we are going to be taking our batches of inventory differently. But the way that we calculate them is all going to be the same. Because if we're using that same exact uh, worksheet, then the way that we're going to be, again, calculating and putting our plugging in our formulas is going to be identical. The only difference is, again, when you're calculating your cost of goods sold, instead of going up from the, the previous batch, you're going to take from the last batch. Okay. So again, let's take a look at an example here where on June 1st, right, you made a purchase of 100 toys at $1.25 with a freight of 25. So again, you're going to plug that into your inventory worksheet. 100 at $1.25 will give you 125 plus 25 will give you 150. And because we're using LIFO, we need to keep our batches of inventory separate, right? So that means... It's going to be at a dollar fifty. Okay. So that's my first batch. So I'm going to once again color code it. Okay. So then the next thing happened was that on June third we end up selling fifty five toys. So in this case, we're going to pop in into our cost of goods sold that we sold fifty five units at. Right now we only have one batch of inventory, so it's going to cost me a dollar fifty. Okay. There you go. I'll pop it in here and calculate that to be $82.50. And I'm going to go ahead and subtract that out for my inventory. And now I have 45 units left remaining at $67.50. Okay. Then I end up making another purchase of 100 units at $1.28 with a freight of 26. So in this case, I pop it right in here. Right, that I am uh, at a uh, hundred units at a dollar twenty eight, which is going to be one twenty eight plus twenty six will give you uh, one fifty four. Once again, I need to figure out my cost per item. So in this case, one fifty four divided by a hundred will give you a dollar fifty four. And let's color code it once again. So now I have two batches of inventory, right? And then lastly, we have another batch of inventory that we purchased for 100 toys at $1.30. And right now, uh, the freight was $20, $27. So again, you plug it in there, color code it. Okay, so now I have three batches of inventory to sell, right? I have my first one at uh, the red one that we purchased uh, originally on June 1st. My second one on June 5th, and my third one on June 10th. So now, the rules of LIFO, meaning when we start to cost our goods sold, right, we're going to be starting from the bottom and then slowly making our way up to the top, okay? So, for instance, right, on June 12th, you have a total of 120 toys that you have sold. So in this case... I'm going to use the rules of LIFO, selling my latest batch first. So in this case, right here on June 10 is my first 100 units. So I'm going to take that first 100 units from my green batch, and I'm going to go ahead and eliminate that because I already know that that 100 units at $1.57 okay, is going to be $157. So in this case, eliminated. So now I only have two batches left, right? My red one and my yellow one. And of course, if we're using LIFO, then the next one I'm going to be eliminating is going to be June 5th. So that means I have to sell a total of 120 units. So therefore, 20 units is going to come out directly from my yellow batch, which is currently at $1.54. Okay. So now I eliminate that from my yellow batch. So I have... Only 80 units left at 
$123.20, right? Still at $154. So then here, tally up my total. So set for selling a total of 120 units, got me a grand total of $187.80, right? And of course, since we reached the end of the uh, accounting period here, which is June 15th, I sold a total of 175, but I actually have 125 units left, which is something that we sh that was part of the scenario was that by June 15, you should have 125 units left. So in this case, I have 45 units from my very first batch of inventory, and I have 80 units left from my second batch of inventory that I made on June 15. Or June 5th, excuse me. All right? So what happens when you have beginning inventory? Same thing happens, just exactly like FIFO, right? You're going to carry your batches exactly how you see it. We got red from our very, from our very first of June at 45. And we have 80 at uh, my um, purchase on June 5th. Okay. Carry it exactly how you see it. So in this case, right, on June 15, right, you should have had a total of 125 units, which we already transferred. And then now on June 18, you end up selling 90 toys for $5 each. So in this case, 90. I'm going to take a look at here. I have exactly 80 units on my yellow because it's last and first out. That means I'm going to get rid of my 80 from my yellow batch, and then I need to dip in 10 from my red batch. Okay, so there you go. Since I already know what 80 is going to cost me in grand total, it's going to be a grand total of $123.20. So that's going to be eliminated out. And then now I need to take 10 units out from my red batch, which is going to cost me $1.50. So then now that 10 units at $1.50 is going to give me $15. So I'm going to eliminate 10 of those units from my red batch. So then that will leave me with 35 units left remaining in my red batch. So now I only have one batch of inventory and one only at a grand total of $52.50 left. All right. And selling all together 90 units. Got me a grand total of $138.20. Right. So then let's see what happened next. June 21st, you end up purchasing 100 toys at $1.32 with a freight of 26 So once again, you're going to plug that in. 132 plus 26 will give you 158 Divided by 100 will give you $1.58. And I'm going to color code it once again. Then at June 25th, you end up purchasing an additional 100 units um, at $1.35 with a freight of 27 There you go. So then at June 27, we end up selling another 120. So in this case, rules of LIFO, I'm going to be dipping into my last batch that I just purchased on June 25th, right? So 100 of those units are going to be eliminated. In this case, I know exactly what um, that last batch is. It's at $1.62, so therefore, 162 is going to be eliminated immediately, okay? So then now I'm left with my blue bat, my red batch and blue batch. So I'm going to go ahead and dip into my blue batch because that's the latest one that I purchased. But so in this case, 20 units need to be taken out because I need to sell a total of 120 units. So since it's $1.58, I need to calculate it once again. 20 times $1.58 is going to give me $31.60. And I'm going to subtract that out, leaving me with a remainder of 80 units left in my blue batch. Okay. Then last but not least, on June 28, we end up selling the, our last 65 units 
of toys, leaving us on June 30th a grand total of 50 toys left remaining. So in this case, so I sold 65. I have plenty enough in my blue batch to sell that 65. So 65 at a dollar 58 will give me 102.70. Subtract that out, and I should have um, 15 left remaining in my blue batch. 15 plus 35 for my red batch will give me a remainder of 50 units left on hand. And that's what I'm going to carry over into my next inventory. So in this case, same exact idea, except this time, instead of calculating from top to bottom, you're constantly going to be taking from the bottom and slowly making your way up back up to the top. Okay. So that is LIFO. So let's go ahead and get started with the exercise here and complete the first section here. Okay. So 8.2, number one, your inventory method is perpetual and this time it is LIFO. So once again, we're going to start on May 5th, purchasing 1,000 units at $3 each with a freight of 100 Okay. So you're going to notice it's going to be a very similar um, scenario here. Only differences when we calculate a cost of goods sold is what's going to different be different. Okay. So May 5th, right? We didn't sell anything. But we did purchase 1,000 units at $3 each with a freight of 100 So in this case, what is my total purchase price? 3000 3000 Okay, plus 100 3100 Giving me a cost per item to be. Three dollars and ten cents each. So again, $3 now, and ten, yeah. ten cents. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer that into my inventory on hand, so I know how much inventory I have on hand okay. at all times. And this is where I'm gonna be updating it. Um, So if you want to, you can go ahead and start putting your um, total tallies here so you can know how much goods available you have at all times. Since we learned that from the first um, from the first inventory. Okay. So right now I have exactly 1,000 units to sell and I'm going to go ahead and once again I'm going to I'm going to call this my red batch of images. I already have it up. Okay. So then on May 7, we end up selling 550 units. So right now, 550 units. I only have one batch of inventory, which is currently at what cost per item? $3.10. Ten. $3 so therefore, what is my grand total cost of goods sold for 550 units at $3.10? 1705 Seventeen hundred and five dollars, right? Now, once again, you can choose to do this. Now, since we 
done this before. We know we're familiar with this worksheet now, right? Instead of doing the calculation in here, you can actually go ahead and directly take it out of your inventory. Because you already know that this batch came from my red batch, right? Yeah. So in this case, I can go ahead and hop right into my inventory on hand, and I can go ahead and calculate it right now. What is 1,000 minus 550? 450. 450, and because I put my formula in here already, it's going to calculate what 450 multiplied by $3.10 is going to equal, which is $13.95. Now, now, in this case, right, the only thing that you're eliminating here is your checking reference, meaning instead of doing the math right here in your purchases, right, to verify that this is what you're going to get, this one, you're automatically going to take it out and you're just, you don't need to put that information in the purchases because you're just going to take it out anyway. All right, so in this case, you could save yourself some time by going ahead and calculating this right here. But it's just personal preference. Now, this one's to double check your numbers once again because, again, um, if you have that split penny going on, you could be in trouble if you um, just take it out directly from your inventory and not double check but in this case you can do the math um uh on the side too what's 3100 minus 1705 it should be 1395 okay so that's what you can do so now i have 450 units at 1395 right and that's what i'm going to do here so um again i'm eliminating the middle section here so we don't have to um again calculate all of that we can just go ahead and directly take it out of our inventory on hand okay so let's see what's next now it's may 10 okay it's may 10 and we end up purchasing 850 units at three dollars and 25 cents each with a freight of 75 so 850 three 25 and 75. So, so you get 27.60 to 50. That's 75. Would be give you 28.37.50. Okay, two-way 37.50. Go ahead. Yeah. And then you're going to get a cost per item of $3.34. or in this case, $3.33824. Right? We're not going to round our numbers yet. So you go $8.50. We'll give you this. Perfect. And I'm going to color code this yellow. So now I have two batches of inventory right now currently available to sell. Okay. Okay. At a grand total of 1,300 units. So let's see what happens next. May 12th rolls around. We end up selling 360 units. It's going to come out of the 850. It's going to come out of the 850, right? The yellow batch. Right now, it is currently at $3.33824, right? So, what is my total cost of goods sold here? $1,201.77. 76 cents. Okay. You, um, it might be a rounding error there. Yeah. So in this case, this came from my yellow batch of inventory. So if this came out from my yellow batch of inventory, then, therefore, I need to update, right? What is eight fifty? Subtract 360. How much should I have left? 
490. Now let's take a look carefully, right? You're at 28.37.50 minus 76 cents. Yeah, that should be 74 cents, right? And there you go. Boom. 16.35.74. That should be correct. So then now you have 940 units left. Okay. And this is how we do LIFO, right? We're going to just kind of keep eliminating from bottom and making our way up to the top. Okay. So then, May 15 rolls around and we end up selling another 600 units. So you're going to use all of the yellow batch. All of the yellow batch. And how much of my red batch am I going to take out from? If I need a grand total of 600 units. Uh, you need to take uh, 110 out of the 450. Good. So in this case, I'm going to eliminate my entire yellow batch here. So in this case, I already know it's going to cost me 1635.74. So I can go ahead and zero that out. Okay. So all I have left is my red batch. And I'm going to take 110 out of it. And currently it is at $3.10. So what is my total cost of goods sold here? For selling 110 units at $3.10. $341 even. And this was my red batch. Okay. So in grand total for selling all 600 units, she give you a grand total of nineteen seventy six seventy four. And now we're going to update my inventory, right? Because I don't have 450 anymore. I end up selling 110. So how many units should I have left in my red batch? Three hundred and forty. Three hundred and forty. So let's take a look here. I'm at thirteen ninety five even minus three hundred and forty one. So you should get ten fifty four left. Okay, at three hundred and forty units left. Okay, so let's see what's next. Then you end up purchasing three hundred units at three fifty. And a freight of twenty dollars. So three hundred, three fifty, and twenty. That'll be ten fifty. And that'll be ten seventy. Wait, do that again? It was three fifty, right? Oh sorry, two fifty. No, 350, three, 300 at 350 with a freight of 20. 350. Oh, okay. 300. Sorry. 300 at 350. Yes, you're right. Sorry. Plus 20, $20 will give you 1070. And then that should give you. $3.57? Yes. Three, six, 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 six. Okay, so in this case, we carry into our inventory here that we have a 300 at $3.50. And then I'll call this I'm going to call this um, uh, <coughs> my green batch.
So now I have technically I have three batches of inventory, right? I have my first one, my red one that I purchased on the fifth at three forty left. My second batch of inventory that I purchased has been already eliminated, and then now I just made a purchase of a green batch of inventory, right on May, um, May twentieth. So in this case. I have now 640 units left. Okay. So then what happened next here on May 22nd is we end up selling 450 units. So you're going to uh, use the 300 in the green batch. Good. And then... We need to sell how much more for my red batch. Okay, so my green batch. I'm going to go ahead and eliminate this one already because I already know how much that 300 is going to cost me, right? I don't need to really calculate that one. This one is at $3.56666, but because I'm taking out the whole thing, that should give me a grand total of that 1070. And that means I can go ahead and come here and eliminate it. So now I don't even have the green batch anymore. I only still only have one batch of inventory left, and I need to get to sell a total of 450 units. So in this case, I sold my first 300, so I need to sell 150 more at $3.10. So what's going to be my total cost of goods sold here? If I sell 150 at three dollars and ten cents. Four hundred and sixty-five dollars. Four hundred and sixty-five dollars. And this is my red batch of inventory. So a grand total for selling 450 units is going to give me a grand total of 1535 even. So I just sold another 150 units for six for 465 dollars. So let's update my inventory. So I started out with 340. You have 190 left. You got 190 left. Okay. So then let's see what happened next. Now you are on May 25th and you end up purchasing 650 units at 375 with a freight of 50. Okay, 650, 375, and 50. Okay, twenty four thirty seven fifty. And you should have twenty four eighty seven fifty. They're giving you a cost per item of three dollars and eighty three cents. And I'm going to carry that now into my inventory on hand that I have 650 units at at 3.82692. Okay, once again, I'm going to color code this to be blue. Okay, so now with my red batch available and my two batches have been sold out completely. I now have made a, a, a last purchase here of 650 units. So now I have a total of 840 units available to sell.
happen. So let's see what happened next. May 27, you end up selling 740 units, leaving 100 units left on hand. So again, I need to eliminate. I need to get a grand total of 740 units. Okay, so you're going to take the whole uh, blue. Mm-hmm. Right, since we already know what that is, right? No need for calculations necessary, right? Because we know what that total is. Since we're going to eliminate the entire thing, that's going to cost me a grand total of that twenty four eighty seven fifty. Okay? That's going to eliminate my... Blue batch. So then, how much more do I need to keep selling? To get me a grand total of 740 units. Okay, you need 90. You need 90. And this one, I only have one batch of inventory and one batch only, my red batch. So in this case, it's at $3.10. So what is 90 units at $3.10? Two hundred and seventy nine dollars. This is my red batch. Okay. And this is giving me a grand total of two thousand seven hundred sixty six dollars and fifty cents was my grand total for seven selling seven hundred forty dollars here, right? We already know it's gonna be a hundred at 310, so therefore you should have $310 left, and you do have 100 units on hand. So again, much more easier, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop here, and we will go ahead and take our little quick break, and then we'll finish up the rest.